Welcome to Practical Tactical, and this is the part five in our Bergara B14R Against the World series. So we've taken the B4, trying to find out what of these rifles is the most accurate. And I'll tell you what, so far I'll do a recap. In part one, the Bergara B14R shot against the Rimax and won. The Bergara B14R was more accurate than the Rimax at 100 yards. Then we shot it against the Voodoo V22. Same thing. Bergara B14 squeaked by by just a hair and outshot the Voodoo. Then in part three, we shot it against the, the Anschutz Model 54, and the Bergara outshot the Anschutz. Now, then we went at the, um, in part four, we went after the tactical solutions. So side-by-side -side comparison between the, the Bergara B14R, Tactical Solutions 1022, Tactical Solutions 1022 almost had it except for one flyer that dropped out the bottom. If it didn't lose that flyer out the bottom, Tactical Solutions would have taken it. But it, as luck ha would have it, it dropped that round and took it out of, out of contention. And now the B14R is still the winner after all that. And now we're going against, we're taking the B14R and shooting it against my, my very own CZ452 in this video. We're going to shoot side by side. Now keep in mind, I have not cleaned either of these rifles. We haven't we haven't done any special effort to pick ammo that any of these guns like. We are shooting a few rounds before we start shooting, before we go on film, um, to make sure the guns have settled down. We're making sure they both have a fair chance. We're not just taking one cold. We're making sure we got some, you know, we got our zeros down, and uh, you know the rifles are fairly well tuned in before we start the uh, the side by side comparison. Um, so you got that going for it, and uh, we're doing our best to shoot at the same time so that both rifles are equally affected by the same wind for every shot. So um, so let's roll them. We're going to see the CZ-452 against the Bagara B-14R. Okay, so CZ-452 versus the Bergara. Um, what target am I going to hit? The optics on this scope are so bad, I can't even tell. Can you tell me what target I should shoot at? Okay, uh, like the right side, second or third one down, whichever one you Third from the top? Yeah. Okay, third from the top, far right. I'm going second from the top, left. Okay. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to shoot that. The trigger is pretty light on this. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm third from the top again, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two. One, two. Okay, so this is the CZ, and which one were you shooting at? Second one down. This one. Oh, Holy cow. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, here. There, that well, that's the Bergara, and this was the CZ 452, so the Bergara is the prevailing champion. So there we have it. CZ 452, out of the running, got its butt kicked by the Bergara B14R, 
and you'll notice we switch shooters for this one so um, we're trying to find out is it the shooter so we you know off camera we did a little bit of that we did a little bit of that where we shot uh, we reversed the rifles and still the same result so um, we're wondering if maybe one guy just happens to be shooting a little better in this case I gave my buddy the, the Vergara B14R I shot the CZ452 and guess what Vergara B14R still won so um, the CZ452, I gotta tell you, I've never cleaned that rifle. I don't believe I ever have. I might have cleaned it once in the time I've had it. Maybe it needs another good cleaning. Maybe it didn't like that ammo. I don't know. But I know it has shot better groups than what we shot in this video. Lots of better groups than that. Um, so maybe it needs a little, little attention. But um, you can see the overall group was more dispersed for the CZ452. The Brigara was tighter and it looked like more of a weather report. Um, but just the same. Vergara won it. The CZ452 I think needs a little TLC. We're going to have to take a look at that. Um, but I wanted to thank you for watching. This is pretty cool. So what do you think? This has been, we're trying to do our very best to make sure this has been a side-by-side, -side, um, very unbiased. Nobody's sponsoring uh, the channel. So these videos are just um, rifles we own and we're just trying to see which one shoots the best. So, um, so that's all we're doing here, but I'd like to see your comments below if you have any thoughts on what we've done, if you have any ways to improve this side-by-side -side comparison, um, try and make it more fair. Um, let's see. So that's the end of part five. So now what? Now what? Um, what we thought was we were really surprised because that voodoo shoots pretty good. And we thought we'd throw out a bonus. We, went, we did a rematch between the Bergara B14R and the voodoo. So we're throwing that one out on the, on the internet as well. We're going to post that one on YouTube to follow this one. And that's going to be the rematch between the Bergara B14R and the Voodoo. So I hope you stick around and watch that one. This is Practical Tactical. And we'll see you in the next one.